In this lesson, I am going to discuss length and distance in inner product spaces. In our last video lecture, we talked about inner products and showed that it is just a generalization of the dot product in RN. What we are going to do is to also generalize concepts as norm, distance, and angle in inner product spaces. Let us start with the norm or length of a vector u. The length of a vector u is just equal to the square root of the inner product of u with itself. Next, the distance between two vectors u and v is defined to be the length of the difference of the two vectors u and v. Next, the cosine of the angle between u and v is given by the inner product of the two vectors u and v all over the product of the norms of the two vectors. And lastly, the vectors u and v are orthogonal if and only if the inner product is equal to zero. Let us recall the standard inner product on P n. The inner product between two polynomials P and Q is just equal to the sum of the products of the coefficients of P and Q. Let us find the following. This is equal to the products of the coefficients. So this is 4 times 0 because r has no constant term. Plus the coefficients of x would be negative 2 and 1. Plus the coefficient of x squared in q is 1. The coefficient of x squared in r is 2. So this is negative 2 plus 2. This is equal to 0. Hence, we can say that Q and R are orthogonal in P2. Next, let us get the norm of Q. So this is square root of 4 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. This is 16 plus 4 plus 1 or square root of 21. Lastly, we want to get the distance of P and Q. Let us compute P minus Q. P minus Q is equal to negative 3 plus 2x minus 3x squared. So therefore, the distance of PQ is the length of P minus Q, which is equal to the square root of negative 3 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. This is equal to square root of 22. Next, let us recall the inner product defined on the set of continuous functions. This time, our interval is the interval 0, 1. Let us find the following, the length of f and the distance between f and g. The length of f is the square root of the inner product of f with itself. First, let me get the inner product of f with itself. It's defined to be the integral of f of x times f of x, so that's f of x squared. This is equal to integral of x squared from 0 to 1, which is equal to 1 third. So therefore, the length is equal to the square root of 1 third or square root of 3 over 3. Next, let us compute the distance between f and g. This is the length of f minus g. Let us compute first the inner product of f minus g with itself. So it's the integral of f minus g of x squared. f minus g is x minus x squared squared. The square root of x minus x squared is x squared minus 2x cubed plus x4. Evaluating this integral, we have this is equal to 1 third minus 
one half plus one fifth. This is equal to 1 over 30. So therefore, this length here is equal to the square root of 1 over 30 or square root of 30 over 30. For our next example, let M22 have the standard inner product. Let us recall the standard inner product on M22. The inner product between two matrices A and B is the trace of the transpose of the first matrix times the second matrix. And this is equal to this summation. So basically what you are doing here is that you are just multiplying the components. Multiply the 1, 1 components, 1, 2 components, 2, 1 components, and 2, 2 components, and adding them up. Let us now get the cosine of the angle between these two matrices. This cosine of theta is defined to be the inner product of A and B all over the norm of A times the norm of B. Let us first compute for the inner product of A and B. This is equal to 1 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus 4 times 2. This is equal to 16. Next, let us compute the length of A. This is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. This is equal to the square root of 30. And lastly, the norm of B is the square root of negative 1 squared. This one. And this is equal to square root of 14. So therefore, the cosine of the angle between A and B is equal to 16 all over square root of 30 times square root of 14. This is approximately equal to 0 0.78. We also have the triangle inequality for inner product spaces. Notice that we have already seen these inequalities in Rn, except that there, the inner product is defined to be the dot product. Also, we have the cauchy schwarz inequality. Let us verify the cauchy schwarz inequality in this example. Here, the inner product between two functions f and g is the definite integral of the product of f of x and g of x over the interval a, b. Let us show this. First, let us compute the inner product between f and g. This is the definite integral of f of x times g of x, which is equal to 1 times x. This is equal to 1 half. Next, the norm of f is the square root of definite integral of f of x squared that's just 1 and this expression is equal to 1. Next the norm of g is the square root of the definite integral of g of x squared This is equal to definite integral of x squared from 0 to 1, which is equal to x cubed over 3 from 0 to 1, or square root of 1 third. So, the inner product of f and g, let us see if this is true, is 1 half really less than or equal to 1 times square root of 1 over 3. Yes, this is true because 1 half is 0.5 and square root of 1 over square root of 3 is approximately 0 0.577.